Hello everyone, so welcome back. In this video, we are going to create password strength indicator with React. So let's see how we create that. Okay, so this is the final project what we are going to be building. And as you can see in here, we have just one input field. This is password input field. If I type in one, two, three, we get a very weak in here. And we have also indicator down here. Okay, if I uh, say explanation, we get a weak. If I add another random symbol in here, say you have fair, good, and strong. Okay, we are going to use package call uh, zxcvbn, and this package is so really cool. I think so. Let's see how we create that. So let's go to the VS Code. I have already uh, running yarn create space react dash app and dot that will be generate create react app in this current folder which is react password string folder okay i have already doing this so let's start the app by running yarn start enter and we are going to remove couple file in here we are going to remove the app.css app test.js index.css um, logo and this thing right here okay so let's get rid of this thing right here delete that all right so let's go to index.js let's get rid of this index css and this thing right here and everything down here so now save we still get an error down here so let's go to app.js file we are going to remove everything in up here and uh, header as well Let's get rid of this everything in here. Just put a uh, hello save. Now we should see hello in the browser. Reload and here we go. The first thing what we are going to do is we need to create the UI and we are going to use bootstrap to create the input field right here. So let's go to the terminal. I'm going to add a uh, bootstrap. Enter that. All right, so it's done. Let's go to package.json file. Just make sure everything is work. We have bootstrap in here. So let's go to index.js. We need to import the bootstrap into the parent. So we need to import that into the index.js file. So we can see import bootstrap slash this slash CSS slash bootstrap dot mean dot CSS. Okay, so now save and let's close that. Let's go to app and I'm going to wrap our app in here with a container class. So we can say container inside in here and I'm going to create a column. So let's do call dash MD dash six. And I want to make that center so I can use MX to auto just margin uh, left and right to auto. So inside in here, I want to create history. Let's make that center so we can use text center. And let's say chan dev save. Now we should see chan dev in the center. Bam. Okay. Let's add margin top into let's say four or five. Save. And here we go. Next, let's create the input field. So let's go back in here. I want to create a div with the class name form form group, I believe from group and inside in here let's create an input with class name form control like so okay so now save and let's see what we have and here we go let's add placeholder placeholder into say password something wrong Okay, save and wait, here we go. So next I want to create the indicator in here. So let's go back to the app.js and let's, I think, just close that, make that smaller. And I'm gonna create a folder inside the source with name components. 
and inside components, I want to create a file called password uh, strength matter dot js. Okay, so let's generate our RFCE, which is a React functional best component. So let's put a paragraph, just say, wait, say paragraph, just say indicator, indicator. Save and let's import into the app component. So we can say import uh, password strength in not indicator matter from dot slash component slash password strength matter. And we are going to put the, this component down here like so. Now save. We should see uh, indicator down here. Okay, pretty cool. So let's go to password strength matter uh, component. So let's get rid of this div right here. I'm gonna create a React fragment in here, like so. And inside in here, I'm gonna create a div with class name progress. This is a bootstrap class. And inside a uh, progress, I'm gonna create a div with the class name progress bar. Progress bar. And if I save, now we should see a uh, progress bar down here. Okay, cool. For example, I want to add a uh, inline style in here. Let's say style set that equals to object in here, and I'm gonna give a width into uh, let's say seventy percent, and let's give a background into let's say red. If I save now, we should see a uh, indicator seventy percent with color red. Okay. So instead of using uh, just put the object in here, we can use another function to do that. So let's say in here, let's say cons uh, change password color. So that it goes to arrow function and we need to just return the object in here. So let's copy, cut that out and put that in here like so. Okay, so let's run this uh, function inside this style right here. So now if I save, now we should see the same thing. No? Okay, we got an error right here. That's because we need to run the change password color like so. Now save and here we go. So next is I want to make the indicator in here, the past, the progress indicator more smaller. Let's do, uh, let's say, hake, hake into seven pixel or something. Let's save. And of, of course, we need to change this uh, hake as well in the progress class. So we can say style hake into seven pixel. All right, so next let's remove the shadow when I focus on the password input field right here. And I'm gonna create margin bottom to make this progress bar uh, push to the down, okay? So let's go to app.js file and inside a uh, input, I'm going to add class name called shadow, shadow, there's none. And inside a form group, let's say margin bottom to one save and reload hmm, the margin button is not work that's because we have the password strength matter component inside a form group so let's make that down here like so and save now we should see margin bottom okay we have the space in here so um we need to change the type to password by the way so password uh, let's make that something like this. So let's make easy to read. So next, I want to get the password value. Every time user typing something inside the input field right here, we want to showing the value into the console. Okay, so let's go in here. We're gonna use use state hooks. So let's create a cons. Let's give a name password password and let's say set password set that equals to use state 
and if I hit enter now that will be automatically import use state from react okay so let's say empty string by default and I'm going to console.log the password value and let's handle the on change on change event on to input let's say e and say set password into e dot target dot value okay so now save and every time i type in something in input field right here we should see the value into the console so let's say uh, s okay cool so now we get the value into the password state right here so the next thing is we need to send this password value into the password string matter component so let's say password set it equals to password okay so we can grab the value just destructuring the password in here like so and if i console.log the password now we should we still see the value into the console so let's reload that and let's type in something in here we still get the value okay cool okay so now we need to install the z x c b c o z x c v b n uh package let's just copy that and let's make that bigger and add another terminal and we are going to paste that in here and hit enter okay so it's done let's import that up here so we can import z x uh, cvbn from z x cvbn all right so let's use that in here so we can use i'm going to create a variable called a test result set that equals to to use these pickets we can just easily put that in here and paste the password value in here okay if i console.log the test result variable like so let's refresh and as you can see in here we have all the value that we need okay but we're not going to use all of this value but i'm going to just use this score value okay if i say random something in here now we should see the score is updated now we have one if i say random symbol in here i think that's will be strong password so let's see we have score three okay this score is basically uh from zero into four okay so let's do let's get rid of this console log so let's create a variable called num and let's set equals to test result dot score because we want to access the score right here and we are going to multiply that with 100 and divide it by 4 okay so if i console.log the num now number okay save let's clean everything in the console we have zero and if i type in something in here we have 25 and 50 75 and 100 okay that's what we need basically this value we need to put that in here okay that's what we want so let's get rid of this number and i'm gonna put the number value in here we're gonna use backtick and let's put the with the number in here and add percent so now save and see we have 100 percent if i remove that's zero okay and see pretty awesome but we need to um need to change the color it depends on what the value is if we have zero we need to say red if 25 we have another color 
like so if good we have another color if strong we have green okay so we need to create another uh, function i think let's say cons with the name function progress color set that equals to progress color set that equals to error function and we're going to use switch in here all right and the key we need to say test result dot score remember test result dot score have a value from zero until four okay so we need to say cast zero we don't need string by the way if the case is zero we need to return uh we need to return a2 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 if the case is one we need to return another color in here a1 a, one, one, one. and if the case is two we need to return f f a t zero zero if the case three we need to return nine b c one five eight okay if the case is four we need to return zero zero b five hundred okay and if the default we need to return none okay so now save and we need to put this function into the background right here just run the function inside the background and invoke invoke the function so now save all right so let's try to type in something in here we have red and wait wait hmm uh in case three it should be c right here so now save and here we go yeah cool all right awesome so the next thing is i want to add the text right here okay as you can see we have very weak weak fear good and strong so let's go back and i'm gonna close this terminal make that smaller and here we go so let's give a paragraph tag in here and i'm going to run function call create password label okay invoke the function in here let's create the function i'm going to create up here in here let's say cons create password label set that equals to arrow function and basically what we need to do is just very similar so we can just copy and put that in here if the case is zero we need to return very weak wait very weak and if the case is one let's say weak if the case two fear is the case three let's say good and four let's say strong and this should be empty string now if i go back we have very weak okay and also we need to change the uh, color so let's go down here uh where's this in here i want to create a style so that equals to color so that equals to not equals and we need to run the function progress color okay so let's put in here like so now save now the text it should be changing okay it depends on the progress bar color and we need to put the text to the right so let's go to app.js file and in here we need to say text right save and bam all right let's type in something in here okay we have weak fear good and strong all right so i think that's it for this video and thanks if you're watching this video until the end and hope this 
helpful guys and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye